Hi kids and hi parents. I hope everybody's had a great week and is enjoying their weekend. Um, I've got nothing to report on for you guys, but today is our last virtual Sunday school lesson and next week we'll be back in person. So I'm super excited to see you guys. You can see my cat Sforzano in the background here. He's just going to chill with us for the lesson today, I guess. Um, but without further ado, let's get to our Sunday school lesson. Um, <clears throat> today we are going to talk about the covenant that God made with Noah. Now last week we talked about the beginning and how God brought order to the chaos of the world. And, and this week we're going to talk about Noah and his covenant with God. But before we get into that, I want you guys to think of a time that you either um, made a promise to somebody or somebody made a promise to you. Did you keep that promise? Did they keep the promise? How did it feel? Regardless of whether you kept it or not felt kept it. Um, it's easy to make promises and then fall through on those promises. We're human. We err. Um, sometimes... We just can't fulfill what we've promised. But today, we're going to learn about the promise that God made to Noah. And when God makes a promise, or when we read about God's promises in the Bible, they're called covenants. Um, so the, prom the covenant that we're learning about today is the covenant with Noah and that God made for all of his people, including us. Um, when God makes a promise... Um, we can trust that no matter what, he is going to keep it. Um, so in the beginning part of our story today, it's a really long story. So normally we would be reading Genesis chapter 6 through chapter 9. But today I'm only going to read um, the later half of that covenant, which is chapter 9 verses 1 through 17. But um, in the beginning part of, of this story, we learn about God telling Noah all about the flood and the people around Noah and in Noah's village didn't believe him. He didn't believe that there was going to be a flood that would wipe out everything on the earth or that um, anything like that would happen. So when Noah started building the ark and collecting materials and supplies for the ark, he was ridiculed and he was made fun of and he was really um, almost shunned from the people around him, everybody besides Noah's family, his, his wife and his sons and his son's wives, they pretty much were their own little unit because of how much they had been ridiculed by the people around them um, for believing that God was going to wipe out um, uh, evil with this flood. Um, and the part that we're going to focus on today in, in our story is the last chapter in the first 17 verses of that last chapter where God talks about the covenant going forward after the flood. Um, so I'm going to pull that up for us and we are going to read that. It's in Genesis chapter 9 verses 1 through 17. God went on to bless Noah and his sons and to say to them, be fruitful and become many and fill the earth. A fear of you and a terror of you will continue upon every living creature of the earth and upon every flying creature in the heavens, upon everything that moves on the ground and upon all of the fish of the sea. They are now given your hand. Every moving animal that is alive may serve as food for you. Just as I gave you the green vegetation, I give them all to you. Only flesh with its life, its blood, you must not eat. Besides that, I will demand an account for your lifeblood. I will demand an accounting from every living creature, and from every man I demand an accounting for life of its brother. Anyone shedding man's blood by man will his own blood be shed for God's image he made man. As for you, be fruitful and become many, and increase in abundance on the earth and multiply. <clears throat> then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, I am now establishing my covenant with you and with your offspring after you and with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the animals, and all the living creatures of the earth with you, all those who came out of the ark, every living creature on the earth. Yes, I establish my covenant with you. Never again will all flesh be destroyed by the waters of a flood and never again will a flood bring the earth to ruin. God added, this is the sign of the covenant that I am making between you and me and every living creature 
that is with you for all future generations. I put my rainbow in the cloud and it will serve as a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Whenever I bring a cloud over the earth, then the rainbow will certainly appear in the clouds. And I will certainly remember my covenant that I made between you and me and every living creature of every kind. And never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the rainbow will often, <clears throat> or, and the rainbow will occur in the clouds. And I will certainly see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of every kind on the earth. God repeated to Noah, this is the sign of the covenant that I established between me and all flesh that is on the earth. So, <clears throat> as I said prior to this part in the story, we learned all about, or it, it was talking all about um, Noah's process of building this ark and, and God coming to Noah and saying that there would be a flood to destroy all flesh. This part of the story that we just read is the covenant that God will never bring upon another flood to destroy the earth ever again. And we see that and the promise is, is kept and reminded um, and reminds us by the appearance of a rainbow. And I'm sure we've all seen that right after a storm or um, sometimes even in the middle of one, we, we see one pop out of the clouds. And that's God reminding us that he will never bring a storm or a flood to ruin the earth ever again. Um, so uh, the biggest lesson that we can learn from this story today is that God's promises are eternal. Um, the things of this world fail people fail and life seems like it will fall into chaos sometimes. You know, we make mistakes, we we lie, um, we do bad things occasionally. Um, and, and, and that is to be human. That's expected, that those things will happen. But something that we must remember is God does not fail. God is always faithful and always remembers us and always remembers the promises that he makes to us. Um, so it's important for us to remember that even when times seem dark or things seem out of control and um, seem like God has maybe even forgotten us, um, it's important to remember that that's not the case and God remembers everything that he's promised to us and everything that he's said will happen will happen. It's on God's time, not on ours. Um, so I want you to carry that into the next week, carry that into the next few months as things seem uncertain and uh, rough and might seem a little dark. Um, just remember that God is always with us and everything that he's promised to us, he will, he will grant us. Uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'm so excited to see you next Sunday. Bye!